And we are back. Welcome back to my Champions League prediction series. Coming at you a day early today because we have more Premier League predictions to do tomorrow morning. And also, viewership figures tend to do better when I post my predictions a day before the first round of matches. So if you are new to this series, what we like to do is just do a quick predictions of all of the Champions League games taking place this week. We have got four more games of first legs from the round of 16 coming for you today. So if you are new around here, please do consider subscribing to the channel because like I said, We've got Premier League predictions coming for you tomorrow and then we will have Europa League and Europa Conference League predictions on Thursday. And if you haven't done so already, please do consider dropping a like on this video as well. Let's get in to those four Champions League games taking place this week. And we'll start off with the two fixtures taking place tomorrow and the first of those is Inter Milan taking on Atletico Madrid. Now, of all of the sort of ties going into this, I would say... This, other than the PSG against Sociedad tie, is probably the tie where you would back the second place team over the first place team. The irony being that it was actually Sociedad that topped the group that had Inter Milan in it. However, you look at the recent form of these two sides, Inter Milan are absolutely flying at the moment. They are unbeaten in their last 10. They have won all of their last eight and they've only conceded in one of their last six. On the flip side, Atletico Madrid have been playing relatively well, but their form has been a very, very inconsistent over the last few weeks, especially away from home. So I think Inter Milan need to go into this one as strong favourites. Obviously, we all know what sort of qualities Atletico Madrid do have. They did rest certain key players at the weekend. The likes of Griezmann didn't start. They actually played Marcus Llorente, who normally plays right mid or right back. They played him up front. And he scored two goals. So fair play to Marcus Lorente for probably being the most versatile player in world football at the moment. But I think Inter Milan will probably take this one. Like I say, their attacking style of play at the moment has been absolutely fantastic. And again, defensively, they've been really good as well. I'm going to go for 3-1. I still think Atletico can score because of the qualities that they've got going forward. But I think overall, Inter Milan will take this one, especially in the home leg. Next up, this second game on Tuesday night sees PSV Eindhoven taking on Borussia Dortmund. And this is a really, really tough one to call, in my opinion. PSV playing very good football domestically at the moment, but recent form hasn't been great. Borussia Dortmund playing fantastically well in the Champions League at the first half of this season. But again, domestic form recently hasn't been great. They've produced some good results. The loan signings of Matson and Sancho from Chelsea and Manchester United, respectively, seem to have definitely improved their form, particularly Matson at left-back, who's been very, very good. However, they've lost a lot of their attacking line. Haller's not come back from African Cup of Nations, fully fit. Adeyemi's injured. Marlon picked up an injury at the weekend. So... Basically, they're relying on Sancho, Bayern Gittens as youngsters playing out wide and then full Krug up front. So I'm not fully convinced Dortmund get a result here. I would back Dortmund over the course of the entire two legs to end up getting the overall win. But I think with PSV, especially PSV's home form at the moment and a man on form in Luke de Jong, who is scoring goals for absolute fun for PSV Eindhoven this season, I'm actually going to back them to get the opening leg win. I think this is probably the toughest fixture to call out of the four this week. Dortmund, on their day, will definitely beat PSV. But I just have a little sneaky feeling that at home, with the Champions League music and everything going in their, in their favour for that opening tie, I think PSV could end up coming out on top. Next up, we move on to Wednesday night then. And the opening fixture on Wednesday night is FC Porto taking on Arsenal. And, well, you've got to look at current form and say Arsenal take this pretty comfortably. Now... We all know about Arsenal's record against Portuguese teams and we can obviously go back and look at that result against Sporting Lisbon in the Europa League last year, the halfway line goal and whatnot. But as people were pointing out in the comments to my predictions for the Burnley game at the weekend, this isn't the same Arsenal that we saw last year. They are putting together big performances and big wins in games where you would expect them to potentially slip up. 6-0 away at West Ham, 5-0 away at Burnley. You've got to look at those results and say last season they may have dropped points in those games, potentially even lost, and they've won them very, very comfortably. They're playing some fantastic football at the moment. It doesn't look like they've got any major injury concerns at the moment, so everything's in favour of Arsenal. Don't get me wrong, on their day, Porto, a very good side. I would expect them to do their usual, probably back six that they like to do at times in Europe, but I just think Arsenal are going to be too strong for them. I think they have a really good chance of going deep in this tournament at the moment, Arsenal. It just depends who they would get potentially in the next round once they get through past Porto, which I fully expect them to do. 
And you know what? I'm going to be ambitious for them again. I'm going to go for 3-0. I think it could end up being more unless Porto get their act together. Obviously, Porto do have threats of their own, the likes of Evan Ilsen and Galeno out wide, but I just don't think it's going to be enough to stop Arsenal this week. Arsenal defensively have been very good and offensively have been phenomenal. So 3-0 to Arsenal for me. And then finally, it is Napoli taking on Barcelona. Two sides whose managerial situation is in all sorts of a mess. It looks like Napoli could potentially sack their manager as early as literally today on Monday at the time of recording this video. So if you're watching this Tuesday or Wednesday morning ahead of the Champions League, Napoli may have a new manager. It looks like they're going to do a sort of jobs share with, I think it was the Slovakian manager. Um, Slovakia, Slovenia, one of them always got the two modelled up. But it looks like they're going to have their international coach as joint Napoli and international manager for the rest of the season, should they sack their manager this morning. Not only that, Napoli don't have Osimhen back yet, who obviously is their main striker. Simeone's been playing up front the last few games, but hasn't really done anything. On the flip side, though, Barcelona have not been playing very well either, to the extent that it looks like Xavi is also going to be gone as Barcelona manager, potentially not during the season, but certainly at the end of the season. They, of course, got a 97th minute winner at the weekend to shave off another embarrassing result against Celta Vigo. So really, this is just a case of, I'd like to use this phrase a lot, this is a case of which side is going to bottle it the least because both teams aren't playing well at the moment. Both teams will probably be going into this fixture going, oh God, please don't let us blow it again. And of overall balance of individual player form versus what manager's under most pressure and everything that's going on, I think Barcelona are the favourites. So I'm going to go 2-1 to Barca. This time last year, I'd have said Napoli win this one pretty easily. But at the moment, Napoli are in massive disarray. Barcelona are just about ticking over enough. But we'll see. Napoli are a very good side individually on their day. But I just don't think it's happening for them at the moment. Barcelona seem to have just a little bit more cohesion on the pitch. I think that will end up being the difference for them in that game. And that is going to be it for the Champions League predictions for this week. Four matches for you to discuss down in the comments section below. And do let me know what you think is going to happen in those matches. I will, of course, as I say, be back tomorrow morning with my remaining Premier League predictions for the week. And then, of course, don't forget to check out my Europa League and Europa Conference League predictions video on Thursday as well. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I will catch you in one of those other videos.